Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obit of Potato, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. Today we're checking out Neon Garten. Um, I, I've not heard that phrase before, Garten, but hey ho. Anyway, this is kind of a cyberpunky style city builder. Uh, it's kind of curious, really. Um, the the setting is very very wild. It's kind of futuristic. It's, it's, it's a nice vibe. Anyway, uh, there's a little premise. Anyway, uh, and I am going to be in charge of the redevelopment of a block uh, of, uh, of buildings. And in order to try and maximize profit uh, for my shareholder people, uh, I am going to be building the most cost-effective buildings that I possibly can and making a whole bunch of money uh, along the way. So, uh, we start with this block, and uh, we actually have like a lot of uh, a lot of options at the moment. We're on layer zero. Uh, we can go all the way up to other layers above this, and we'll get to that in uh, in a little bit. Uh, this is day one. We have a tax deadline in eight nights, and in eight nights we need to raise a certain amount of coinage, uh, which is what we are hopefully going to try and do. In order to do that, there's a bunch of different buildings which we can build in different combinations in order to facilitate building a city. Uh, the sort of most basic building block is the basic apartment. It's quite common. It's residential. Uh, there's a whole sort of light mechanic as well. We don't really need to worry about that too, too much at the moment. Uh, but the point is, it's got a one by one by one dimension and it gives us an income, um, an income of one. Let's start with that. Uh, we can choose to build this pretty much anywhere we want to. I will build it. Night will fall. I will make the income and happy days. Okay. When night two rolls around, we want to be thinking about how we can try and hopefully uh, get a little bit of additional value, maybe from that apartment block or maybe from the next door buildings that we are about to build. So, for example, the small park is going to give us uh, adds one to the income of each neighboring residence. That's quite nice. Commercial building adds plus one income per neighboring basic apartment. So that's going to increase the value of the bar. But I don't have um, I don't have that many apartments at the moment. The coffee shop for each three neighboring residential buildings, this building's income doubles. So what? It's going to double from one to two. I think the bar. I think the bar is probably something that we want to get. Uh, we can also build. We can also build on top. We can also build on top if that's uh, if that's something that we want to do. Uh, is that is that something that I really want to do? Not necessarily. Uh, we can actually uh, have a little look around. So, for example, I'm highlighting here. We can see the potential income. Uh, so it looks like we can actually get the we can get the neighboring bonus by building right on top, which is definitely something that I'm considering doing. Not necessarily something that I want to do right now. Definitely want to keep our options open for that. But there we go. Two income, one income, total of three. Happy, happy days. That's looking. That's looking not too bad. I think another, another basic apartment at the moment is something that we're after. Uh, we just try and sort of synergize with the existing, exactly, the existing facility right there. And we can probably repeat this two other times, which I would be very, very happy to do. Uh, Plaza, we've not seen that before. Uh, a pavement park that draws bustling crowds adds one to the income of each neighboring commercial building. Mm. I tell you what, let's go with a small park because that's going to give one income... Uh, to each neighboring residence, which I can throw right in there, which is going to mean you had some pretty substantial income from just three buildings. Ooh, this is quite a nice little, this is quite a nice little view, you know? That's looking quite nice. That's looking quite nice. Okay, uh, we still have a little bit of, um, we still have a little bit of, uh, a little bit of a ways to run, but sort of building out this bar, I think that's exactly what we want to do. Very, very happy with that. And we can build out the bar one additional time before we have to sort of figure out another strategy. There we go. It's a pretty decent bar. An additional couple of parks in the corner uh, of all of these places would be good. Uh, but I quite like this. This is looking This is looking quite nice. You know what? Small park. I'll take it. You know, don't... Uh, don't... Uh, the phrase isn't kick a horse in the face, but you, you know the one that I'm going for. Uh, anyway, we've unlocked something brand new. Basic manufacturing buildings unlocked because I have earned uh, a set amount of money. We've got a train station. An industrial transportation hub gains plus one income for every neighboring industrial building. I don't even think we've 
come across any industrial buildings yet, but here we are. Uh, factory industrial central production gains plus one income for each industrial building in the same vertical stack. Okay, that is good to note. A toxic waste dump, a radioactive park, plus two income each neighboring industrial building. That's not too bad. Okay, if we can start thinking about industry, that would be very, very nice indeed. I mean, I don't exactly want this to be near my my residential areas, but I mean, here is not here is not too bad. Sure. And then we'll see if we can try and build up on top of this. That's going to be the plan. Right, we've got 49, um, 49 income at the moment, which is quite, or 49 cash at the moment, which is quite good. 15 total income. Tax deadline is due in one night. Uh, we are going to be able to pay it because the, uh, the deadline is, uh, there we go, 36. And we have 64 at present. So we have a couple of different options about how we want to handle this. We get to choose a perk, which is very, very nice. Uh, sewer power adds plus one income to any residential building on layer three or below. That's pretty nice because we're on layer one and we only have access to layer two at the moment. Rare buildings are twice as likely to appear in the building selection screen or uncommon buildings are 50% more likely to appear. And three shanty apartments have been added. Uh, I'm going to take sewer power because that is going to be amazing uh, for us. A toxic waste dump? I mean... Heck yeah. Let's build a toxic waste dump. Okay, uh, a few interesting things have happened. First and foremost, let's let's build this over here. We got a toxic waste dump now. Uh, that's okay. Uh, it is probably going to have negative income now, but that's that's fine. Uh, the point is though, the shanty apartments are just sort of placed everywhere. It looks like they've been placed in a little stack over here and also on top of this one. Uh, however, we are going to actually have a little bit of we're going to have a little bit of income. So this park is going to project upwards. It's a neighbor. Uh, which is quite nice, I believe. That's the, that's the, uh, yeah, neighboring. Yeah, so this counts as a neighbor, which is great. So that shanty apartment is actually going to get a bonus. And in fact, it's going to bring us in two total income, which is honestly not bad for an apartment that just completely, you know, appeared out of nowhere. Uh, we got two income on this level, but we got... We didn't get any income on the other level. Oh, I guess it's just... Uh, it's just uh, it's just new income and, and new uh, new buildings. Okay. Oh, there we go. It's we we do it sequentially. That's fine. All right. That's looking good. Uh, decent in terms of industry. Very very happy with that. That's looking very very nice. Oh, we got a tax deadline of seven nights. Tax is due two hundred and sixty three. I'm not loving that. An industrial transportation hub gains plus one income for every neighboring industrial building. I'll say yes, but I don't think I can do much about that. Five income, is that what I'm interested in? Sure, I guess. In this orientation, or maybe in this orientation here. I can't do that. Okay, that's that's an illegal maneuver. Um, I guess I can't build on top either. I tell you what, I could build here. Let's do that. So we can definitely have an industrial corner, but unfortunately those those poor those poor poor shanty town uh, houses. What are they called? Shanty apartments. Yeah, they're just gonna have to deal with it. I'm afraid. Okay, um, 28 total income. That is not where it needs to be. We're at 51 cash, and we are nowhere near. Right. I think I'm gonna go into factories again. Although to be fair, a, a small park. A small park would go a long way to making me feel very, very happy. If I build that there, we should have um, we should have boosted the income of these three buildings, which is not too bad. Oh, I suppose right in there would be really, really good too, right? Yeah. Well, that's no matter. I can I can sort that out. I can sort that out next time. A park right in the center there is is no bad thing at all. What do I think? A factory. A factory or a train station? I think a factory, right? I can build up. I can definitely build up if I want to. Uh, and I will do that. Because that is going to give me more... That is going to give me more income. I'm going to be getting the income bonuses. And I should get the income bonus from this factory at the bottom here. Which is amazing. 
Very, very nice. Okay, I like this. It's looking a little bit higgledy piggledy. It's looking whack, but it's it's feeling it's feeling good. Thirty seven income is a really really nice place to be. Okay, basic apartment plaza. Uh, basic apartment probably right. You give me a basic apartment, and let's put that right in the center over there, so we can at least get uh, some bonuses from it, which is quite nice. Not too many changes, honestly, all things considered. Three nights to make 60 cash. We'll probably manage it. We'll probably manage it. I'm going to take another factory. Do we get penalized for building up? I don't think we do. I don't think we do. My perks are up here. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, unlock buildings and perks. I should have a little look at this. How do we unlock a nightclub? Uh, earn at least 300 cash. I'm, I'm on it. I'm very, very close, actually. And in fact, there's quite a lot of buildings. That we, uh, that we can unlock. Okay. Couple of factories. Factories, honestly, just stack up as many factories as we possibly can until we reach what I presume is a limit somewhere. Uh, it's something that we'll just do. Neon buildings unlocked. A nightclub. Okay, so this is lit. Um, there is there is, there is light. We do need to consider that. Commercial building. A nightclub doubles the income of each neighboring bar and of each hacker shack. This bonus does not stack for any bars. Okay. A recapture facility. It recycles ambient neon light, adds plus one to the income of neighboring light buildings, adds plus three income of neighboring lit buildings. Okay, that's what I'm talking about with regards to light. And also a laser park. Right. Adds one income of each light building that shares a row, column, or vertical stack. Blech. Okay, that seems that seems a bit complicated. But a toxic waste dump seems very, very uncomplicated. Um, what have we got in the center there? That's a bar. The nightclub doubles the income of the neighboring bar. But what's the income of this? Total income is three. Total income is six. I mean, that's actually not... That's actually not bad. That might actually be worth doubling. That might actually be worth doubling. Um, do I want to do something with this light? There's enough ambient light to go around. Okay. How are we doing with the bar? 12 income at the bar. That's not that's not bad. And we can we can boost that a little bit. We can boost that a little bit for sure. Uh we are gonna hit our our tax objective, whatever the heck that is, 263. But it's gonna be a little bit close, I think. Uh I'd love to build a toxic waste dump just because you know, I like building the darn things, but I don't think that I can. I think we need to be a bit more savvy about that, and we need to see if we can try and get some additional some additional buildings in here, because we're going to see if we can try and get the bar sort of maxed out in terms of, in terms of ability at the moment. Brilliant. Not too displeased with how this is all coming together, I must say. Tax deadline, easy peasy, absolutely blew past it. Uh, natural preserve adds two income to all unlit parks. All parks give neighboring parks plus one income. That seems like a real waste. Rare buildings are twice as likely to appear in the selection screen. Give me rare draws, sure. That seems that seems absolutely fine. Right, what have we got here? Basic apartment, yes. Factory, I obviously love the factory. Coffee shop. I mean, it could be powerful if we build around it, but I think we're, I think we're too far down. Uh, that shanty shack apartment is not in a great place for us, but it's it's okay. We can we can we can deal with it. Um, that's in a really really bad place up there. That's for sure. Anyway, sixteen income from a single building seems like quite a lot. So quite happy with that. Okay, some of the rarer stuff is starting to show up, which is quite nice. Recycles have one income of neighboring lights buildings. Neighboring lights buildings. I don't think we actually have any neighboring lights buildings. Let's see. So if I build this here, is there is there any is there anything that we actually use that has lights 
Oh, I guess not. Okay, well, this is going to be an absolute dud then, I suppose, isn't it? Okay, well, this absolutely sucks. Each lights building that shares a row, column, or vertical stack. Well, we're going to build... We're going to build it here. We're going to build it here, and we're going to build up a nightclub sort of venue from uh, from this position. That is my plan. Whether or not it's going to work, I'm not sure. Toxic waste dump. It's got to be a toxic waste dump. Really? Like... This has got to be it, right? Oh, but it's so bad for the residential stuff. Build it up there so that we can build something on top here. Nightly income is negative up on the top layer. God, that's not what you love to see, is it? Actual negative income. A nightclub. This is lit. This is what we want to see. Okay. This is what we want to see. Let's see if we can try and build this here. Nice. That's going to give us three potential income. Beautiful. Build that there. And now are we getting any... Are we getting any income from, from, from this lit bar? We're getting three from that. I mean, two from Laser Park. Oh, I see. It adds to the... It adds to the... Um, it adds to the building rather than the laser park. Okay, that's kind of cool. I mean, I guess that's worthwhile. I just kind of figured that it was the other way around. Um, hold on. I need to check something. That bar... Yeah, we're actually getting the income from the laser park in the bar. Okay, I thought the income went to the laser park, but that makes sense. Okay. Toxic waste dump or a train station? Yeah. yeah don't rate any of these, to be honest. Each three residential buildings, this building's income doubles. You know what? I tell you what. Let's build this. Instead of holding on for a park, let's see if we can just try and build this in here. There we go. So that should be, like, three, three income. Ah, you know, it's, it's good enough. It's good enough. It definitely all helps. We've got four nights to make another 300 bucks. I'm kind of optimistic, you know? Kind of optimistic. Each neighboring commercial building, bar, basic apartments. Um, let's build a bar, and let's build a bar this time here. This is 10 potential income. Is there anywhere that's better for a bar? Not really. That's really good, in fact. Okay, things are starting to get a little bit crammed. But that's okay. Adds plus one to the income of neighboring lights buildings. Adds three to the income of neighboring lit buildings. Okay, so this is going to give us three income. What about in here? Yeah, let's put it right there. That should allow us. That should allow us to make money in the laser park, right? Yeah, neon recapture facility, neon recapture facility at the nightclub, neon recapture facility at the laser park, uh, and. At the bar? Neon recapture facility. That's actually pretty decent. Okay, so that is going to give us... That's going to give us a legitimate amount of income. Plus, we get a bonus from being next to the toxic waste dump. That's exactly what you need next to a neon recapture facility. You absolutely love to see it. Okay, total 106. It's going to be pretty bleeding close, isn't it? But I think we can do it. Right, fat wallets, buildings, unlocked. Fancy apartments... Adds one income for each neighboring basic apartment, two income for each neighboring fancy apartment or penthouse. Penthouse apartment does not generate income on layer three or below. If on layer four or higher, generates layer times two income. Ooh, okay. So we basically build it higher and we make more money. And an actual tree. Tree doubles the effect of any neighboring parks except for other actual trees. Okay. Um, we can do something with that. I like it. I like it. Is it time to continue on upwards? I think it's time to continue on upwards. Eight income. 
beautiful. And that has an, an additive effect on all of the different factories. I mean, we basically just want to have a massive factory stack, don't we? We really, really do. Um, did three shanty apartments appear? I don't think they did. Oh, no, they haven't yet because um, because we're still... Uh, we still got one night remaining. Okay. That's really good. I love that. Our top layer now actually producing. I know we... We are paying... We are paying money to have this shanty apartment here. I get it. It's worth it just to sort of flatten things out, I think, though, honestly. That's decent. That's decent. That's really decent. This is amazing. This is amazing. 117. Slowly but surely, we're building something up. That neon recapture facility. I'm honestly kind of chuffed that I managed to find somewhere that that would work. Right. Shanty apartments give neighboring shanty apartments plus one income. Maybe not bad. Bars, bars also gain the in uh, income for neighboring shanty apartments. That's pretty good. I thought that was the case already. Coffee shops add plus one income to neighboring commercial buildings. Definitely cheap booze, right? I think so. So nightly income is 117. Let's see where that goes with the uh, with that perk. Laser park. Laser park. If we can make the laser park work, we can make the laser park work in proximity to the neon recapture facility then that's what we have to do i think yeah so if we build this laser park right here then it is going to be neighboring with the neon recapture facility which is going to give us which is going to give us some results which is really quite nice okay 8 7 15 21 38 5 from the uh, laser park which is amazing Pretty decent chunk of cheddar here. We need to make 1,409 bucks. That is a little bit... That's a little bit excessive. Uh, but 141. I mean, our income increased by about 30. Um, by a combination of the additional perk that we got, which was quite nice. The uh, income from neighboring shanty apartments. Um, and also the... Uh, and also the building that we placed. The, the laser park thing. Which I quite like, honestly. It's kind of growing on me. Right. Thing is, I'd love to get a park. I mean, a park in there is, is not bad. In fact, a park in any of these places is not bad. I think a park in there. It's it's really not gonna do that much. Let's be let's be real. Yeah, give us five income. It's okay. This is where we need to start making some differences. Does not generate income in layer three or below. I mean, what are we at? A, can we even build one of these at the moment? We can build one here. What, what, uh, what layer are we on? We're in layer three. We cannot even build. We can't even build a penthouse. No, that's a lie. We could build a penthouse up here. But actually, that wouldn't necessarily give us a negative penalty. I mean, maybe? I think we've got to go for a plaza. I think we've got to go for a plaza, even if we don't have an amazing place for it. Plus one to the income of neighboring commercial buildings. Uh, sure. I really don't think that that's worthwhile. But I need to get... I need to enable the the penthouse. That's what I really need to do. I need to enable the construction of the penthouse. That is very, very important. Uh, I'm going to take a bar. The reason I'm going to take a bar... Is because I want to build... I want to build a bar right here. To build upwards. Is that really the best place for it? 20 income is really, really good. It's only 5 if I put it there. Yeah, we need to be we need to be making savvy decisions, I think. That actually worked out not too badly, you know? From 149 to 169. Ugh. Still not loving this, but hey ho. I can do some rerolls, by the way. I can also freeze stuff that I like.
Yeah, the bar does have lights. The bar does have lights. Honestly, maybe a laser park, like right in here. I don't think it's going to make a huge difference, but it's it's better than nothing. Problem is I've got four nights to make a lot more than I'm currently making. That's the problem. Wow, we made an extra seven bucks that night. Ugh, big oof. Big oof, as they say. Right, can I get myself another basic apartment? Is that possible? I think a basic apartment like here. It's not bad. Three income, three income, two income. Okay, maybe I lied. Maybe this is... Maybe this genuinely is the bad place. It was just a bad building. Um, sure, I'll put it there. I feel like that's probably a bit of a wasted... Probably a bit of a wasted thing to, to, to place. Basic corporation buildings. Nice. Corporate offices. Corp commercial building loses one income per neighboring illegal building. One income per residential building. Okay. And home, home from work box. Plus one income to all neighboring corp buildings. Well, we've got two nights to experiment with corporate buildings. And I'm not super optimistic. Right. Are these, hold on, are these industrial buildings? Are the Laser Park industrial? No, Laser Park isn't industrial. Cause I was gonna say the train station like along here would be pretty decent. I'll build a bar, I'll build a bar. We can definitely do, can definitely do something for a decent amount of money. Question is though, it's, it's probably just not enough. 18 income? That's really good. It's because, uh, neon recapture facility, I guess. Oh, whatever. That's not bad. Up to 198. That's really quite decent. Okay, what do we need to make? What do we need to make tonight? I, I can't believe it, but I think we're actually going to do it. Basic apartment. You know, build another bar. Heck, build another bar. Let's uh, let's just scroll around, see if we can try and find something that works as juicily as uh, as that did. Eight income, ten income. I, I saw fourteen. So I mean, like, the money's pretty good. The problem with doing, the problem with doing what I'm doing is I feel like I'm kind of designing without any, without any plan, uh, and that seems to be a bit of a. Maybe not a fatal flaw. Not yet, anyway. Oh my goodness. We Okay, we made it, but we made it by, like, 13 bucks. Or 15 bucks. Right, uncommon buildings are 50% more likely. Coffee shops add plus one income to neighboring commercial buildings. A few well-placed bribes gain you plus five rerolls. I'll take over caffeinated. I really don't think that's going to make a difference at all. A nightclub? Maybe? Doubles the income of each neighboring bar. Sure, you know what? Let's do it. I think a nightclub could um, a nightclub could be good for us. If that those shanty blocks hadn't appeared where they appeared, mm. now I'm thinking that maybe just maybe there was a better place. Yeah, because now we can't even get into proximity. That, that, that would be perfect. It would be absolutely perfect if we if we got that right in there, but we just can't. Stick it there. 212, 212, 231. Most of that is from the perk, but hey-ho. Basic illegals building. Okay, a hacker shack. An illegal residential building. Its income is doubled for every neighboring nightclub. A wetware installation. Building ads plus two income of any illegal buildings that share row call in the vertical stack. Okay, and black market. Adds plus one to the income of any neighboring commercial buildings. All right. We got to pick up some of this stuff, right? We got to pick up some of this stuff. 
It's got to be the recruiter. Adds plus one income per neighboring residential building. I, I don't think that this is going to be a huge money spinner. I could be wrong. Nine income is... Nine income is respectable. The problem is... Yeah, you know what? We'll do it. We'll do it. What the heck? It's the best that we got. Yeah, we have six nights to make three grand. That definitely ain't happening. Adds plus two income of any illegal buildings that share a row, column, or vertical stack with this building. I'm going to build one of these guys. I'm going to build one of these guys. I don't actually think that it's going to be super prudent for us to build. I don't think it's going to be super prudent. I think we can just hopefully build on it for now. And maybe we should use some of our rerolls. Recruiter, toxic waste dump. I don't like any of this. Give me some rerolls. Hate that. Actual tree? I really don't like anything, to be honest. Plus, we can come to all neighboring corp buildings. I'll do it. Um, it is going to be totally worthless down here. It will it will add one income to the to the recruiter. But apart from that, not sure it's doing a whole bunch for us. But I want to get as much uh, as much corporate stuff down as we possibly can. Is a bar good? You know what? Let's get a bar down. We can always rely on a bar. 16 income. Holy cow. 18 income. Okay, I'm I'm sleeping on bars. Maybe literally and figuratively on occasion. 18. That's that's the ticket. That is absolutely the golden ticket for us. I want to get some industrial stuff down. I haven't had I haven't placed an industrial building in a long time. Conflict buildings. If this building is neighboring at least two court buildings, then this building's income doubles and it adds plus one to all neighboring commercial buildings. Ice Smith. Building takes one income from each building. Illegal building and adds three income. Oh my goodness. Security forces? Subtracts income from basic apartment and shanty apartments in the same layer. If this building shares a layer with at least three of these apartments, then all court buildings that share a row or column have their income doubled. Wow. That's kind of huge. That is kind of huge. I mean, there's a lot of synergistic potential here that I'm just... Uh, that I'm just not capitalizing on. I mean, I'm capitalizing on it enough to... I feel like things are going okay. I just feel like they could maybe be going a little bit better. Yeah, we got two nights to make, uh, to make quite a lot of money. Nightclub? I don't think I have any nightclubs, to be honest. Data tap, maybe? Adds one income to all neighboring commercial buildings. The problem is... The problem is... Neighboring at least two corp buildings. There is a place that we can do that, surely. Here. But I don't think... I don't think it's gonna... That's, actually, that's not too bad because that'll it'll be neighboring the court buildings. Okay, let's see let's see what this is gonna do. It might work. It might work. Let's see. So we go from two six nine to what to two seven eight. Okay, the illegal data tap uh, didn't do enough, uh, unfortunately. I gotta build a penthouse apartment. I have to build a penthouse apartment. We gotta build a penthouse apartment on top of... On top of the... On top of the factory stack. That's perfect. It's a perfect place for it. Nowhere else surely is gonna be anywhere near worth it. Yeah, potential income is nowhere near. It's gotta be right up at the top here. Yep, well, you know what? What can I say? Uh... This is, this is the place to live, right on top of the smokestacks. Is this sh shanty apartment where it all went wrong? 
Maybe. Or maybe it was the fact that I placed a toxic waste dump. I actually don't think that was the issue. Um, I think the issue probably was is that we just didn't get the synergies going uh, early enough. I really, really like the, uh, the laser park. Obviously, the next time... The next time that you play, uh, I wouldn't be unlocking all of the buildings for the first time. They would already be in the pool. I think that's pretty darn cool, honestly. I really enjoyed that. Uh, that was really great, actually. Neon Garten. Uh, I dig it. I really, really dig it. I think it's pretty, I think it's a pretty nice little game. You can check the demo out right now. Uh, it is up on uh, Steam. It is part of the Steam Next Fest. Yeah, pleasantly surprised with that little, uh, with that little demo. Pretty decent indeed. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you ever so much for watching. My name, of course, has been Open Potato. I'll catch you next time. Bye.